Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another edition of Short and Sweet. My name is Jose Moreno. I'm an associate consultant with Concentris. And today, what I wanted to show you was how to create custom sublists. So custom sublists are one of NetSuite's more underrated uh, functions, in my opinion. And there are many use cases you can think of when it comes to creating uh, sublists. But what I want to do today is walk you through a simple one that we can set up uh, together in less than 10 minutes. So we'll jump right into it. So here, before we sort of start creating this sublist, what I'm going to do here is I have inventory items and I offer support for these items, right? So if you're familiar with what NetSuite can do, if you go to preferences, you can see for our inventory, we can offer support for it, meaning we can associate this item with a support case. So for example, if I take a look at one of the support cases we have, this customer reached out to us to report a damaged item. And on that uh, support case, I was able to uh, specify what item they were reaching out to us for, right? Uh, so what I can do here is I can create a custom sublist on my item record that will show me a list of support cases associated with that item. Of course, you can always create a report. Uh, there's different ways to sort of go about pulling this information, uh, but this is one method you might want to uh, look at. Um, but here, if I go to the item record, right, there's no way for us to actually tell from the item record what support cases are tied to that item, right? We do have our uh, transactions, as you can see here, we have a list of transactions, which is great, very helpful, but I don't have a way to see what support cases I have associated with this item, right? I would have to go out and create a safe search. Uh, now, when it comes to a custom sublist, what I can do is I can add a list to this record that will show me all these, uh, all the items or all the support cases rather that are tied to this item, right? So the way that works is first we create a safe search. So we'll walk through that now. Right, so I'm creating a new safe search. And the concept here is I have to create the safe search uh, for my cases. Right, and so here I start off by giving it a name. So I'll just say support cases by item. And then I'll make this a public search. I'm gonna pull in everything, but you know, you could filter by status if you wanted to do that. And then for the status or for the results, I'll just go with what's here, right? You can customize the results list if you want to add or remove any columns you want. In fact, I'll get rid of this grab column. And then the important part here is we want to have an available filter for the item. Right, this is what's gonna tie this search and allow us to actually add it to our item record. Right, so we wanna add that as a filter and then we'll click save and run. Right, so in this environment here, we only have 20 cases, but we, we can see here, these are all the results we have. So that would be the first step is creating the safe search to pull the list of cases uh, you want to associate with that item. And what NetSuite's gonna do is once we create the sub list, it's actually gonna filter those cases by the item. So what we'll do here is we'll jump into step two, which is creating the, uh, the sub list. To do that, we'll go to customization, forms, sub lists. Right, so here, this is gonna be a sub list, an item sub list, right? So I select item. And then down here, I can actually select the save search I just created. So if I type, I can actually see my safe search comes up. I can select it and then I can give it a custom label if I want to. I'll just go with the label I assigned to the safe search itself. And then I can place it in a tab. So we have a couple options here. What I'll do is I'll place it in communication for now. And then the next thing is you can actually specify what type of items you want to uh, expose this sublist on. So I will just go ahead and pick all items for now, just so you can see. Once I do that, I click add and click save. 
right? So now what's going to happen is if I go back to my item list before I do any reloading, right? You can see if I go to the communication tabs, I just have activities, user notes, files. If I click refresh and then go back into the communication tab, we can actually see the sub list we just added is visible right there. So I can click that. And what NetSuite's going to do is it's going to run that safe search, and then it's going to filter that safe search to only show us the cases that are associated with this uh, specific item here, right? This Brocade 7800. Right? So you can actually see we have three uh, results that show up, and then you can actually see the columns we selected when we define the safe search come through for us. Right, so you can think of a custom list here with the columns that you would want to have. It doesn't have to be this. Uh, you can just update that save search to display the columns you want to see. Right, so from here I can do right click and I can open to the case and then look at the case details if I want to. All right, so that is pretty much it. Um, give it a try. There's a, a many use cases you can think of for sub lists. This is just one of them. But as you can see here, they can come very handy when it comes to pulling specific information you want to see on, uh, you know, item records in this case. But you could do, you could have custom sub lists on customer records uh, as well or contact records as well. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, different possibilities you have here. But we hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And uh, that is going to be it for us today. Thank you.